I'm Tim Hatfield. For some of you, you know, some of us we don't know, but start off with Tim Hatfield and just got the role of being the head DQP. But starting off with the inspection process, uh, I want to start off by saying this year we are going to measure randomly measure horses, not just the ones we think are out. We're going to randomly measure horses to try to keep the eighth inch and the sixteenth of an inch. We're going to try to get that nipped right off the bat. So we're just going to randomly measure horses to try to get that all in compliance this year instead of being surprised at the celebration and all that good stuff. Watching the locomotion of a horse. I've even commented to our DQPs to watch the locomotion of a horse. You can really tell a lot about a horse the way it freely moves. By oh, just watching the horse. And then when it comes up to inspection, of course this year is going to change just a little bit on the way we do it. I know y'all know I picked up last year that's been checking. I check all this. I know you just watch that. I checked this. I only found a few last year, but I found some. The master, and like he said about the saddle picking up, the saddle looking under. I don't know necessarily that we'll pick up a bunch of saddles, but we might just ease in on this feel and feel underneath here on the girth. But anyway, after I come up, can everybody see y'all right? When I come up, pick up your foot. I'll measure it here in a minute, but I'm just going to show you the routine of palpation. Check the tendons as you come down. And then like she said, doing the, doing the half use or upside down use, you just come around, blanch your thumb. I like doing it this way. Then I look and make sure it's not scarred. The only reason I like and I recommend it to our guys to do that, I think the more you pilfer, I'm not very good at speaking, okay? But the more you play in that pocket, it worse it makes on this horse, okay? So I like to do my palpation. Then I like to look and see if there's scars in there. And if there's no scars, go to the front. I always like to slide my hand down. Every DQP has a little different some. Some of them like to pat here, but you come down and you pick up where you left off in the back. Going right around. I do it five times on a, on a horse, my routine. Okay, now with that being said, I found no scars on that foot. Therefore on the right foot, you don't even look for scars. You can't ride a one foot scar rule. And in the inspection process, most of the time when you measure a horse, you go ahead and do your palpation before you ever measure the horse. Same way with this one, kind of <coughs> stubborn. Do the same routine again. You just on the opposite foot. You set him down. Now as far as measuring part of it, we will have a piece of wood. It's going to be hard to measure. I can show you the routine going through it here on this ground because it's unlevel. I'm going to do it mostly on this side, and you normally, you know, you one you want to pick out. But what you, what I like to do is when I get here, yeah, it's aggravating. You got to get down over. I like to find that soft spot, and I'll take his tape measure, and I make me a go-to line, and I make a go-to line up here when I get there. But I take this, like I say, it's hard to do it on. We'll say six inches. Then here, I do the same thing. Make me a little mark on it and do the par parallel and get the measurement. And on the 50-50, I feel I find it easier to do it like this right here, is to measure is to measure the horse the same way. Then you measure the package without the shoe. <laughs> 